Hi everyone, uh, in this video we will be discussing the graphical interpretation of differentiability for the chapter differentiation 1 for mathematics in IITJ preparation. So we have discussed uh, previously that differenti differentiability means when LHD equal to RHD that is the condition for differentiability. Graphically this condition means that the function should be smooth. Now what do we mean by smooth? Uh, so you may remember that we have discussed that uh, for continuity that there should be no breaks in the graph of a function. If a, fu a continuous function does not have any breaks in the graph, now we are saying that a differentiable function should be smooth. So let us take an example uh, to understand this. Let us say that fx is equal to x square plus 1. Now this function uh, is a quadratic function and I hope that you remember from the chapter functions how to sketch the graph of this function. If we take fx is equal to x square plus 1 then at x is equal to 0, at x is equal to 0 uh, the function value is 1 and then it is a quadratic curve like this. Now this function is smooth in the sense that it very nicely, uh, there is a nice curvature and it does not have any breaks or it does not have any corners in the curve. For instance, let us take another function to get an idea. So let this function is smooth and hence this is differentiable. Uh, I mean visually you should start appreciating the fact what, what do we mean by a smooth function differentiable okay now let us take another example to understand what what we could mean by a corner uh, if we have a function like this uh, and that is mod x if you have a function which is mod x if for mod x we know that mod x means uh, fx is equal to minus x for x less than or equal to 0 and plus x for x greater than or equal to 0 for x greater than 0. In this case uh, there is a clear corner here, there is a corner at x equal to 0 and hence and rest everywhere it is smooth and hence f x mod x is not differentiable at x equal to 0. So I hope you are able to understand the difference between a differentiable function and a not differentiable function. Let us quickly take few more examples. So we will not now, now not write any function uh, definitions for them. I will just sketch them visually so that you can start to appreciate what kind of functions are differentiable and what kind of functions are not differentiable. So this was first example, this was second example. Let me take two more examples for you to understand. So the graph of fx is something like this. And then uh, okay, so there is there are this this is x equal to one and this is x equal to 2 and this is x equal to 0. So now can you spot that there is a corner here, there is a corner here and there is a break here. So corner here, corner here and there is a break here. What do we mean by that? So corner means it is not differentiable, so it is definitely not differentiable at x equal to 0, 1 and because it does it is breaking basically it is also discontinuous at x is equal to 2 
and therefore it is also not differentiable at x equal to 2. So, because there is a break it is not a smooth function. So, of course, it is not differentiable, but as well as it is not continuous. So, why I wanted to take this example? Because you can see that whenever the function is not continuous, it will definitely not be differentiable. If there is a break in the graph, it will obviously not be smooth. On the other hand, on the opposite side, if the function is not differentiable, it may still be continuous like at x equal to 0 and x equal to 1. And this is the difference between continuity and differentiability. Uh, and in the next video, we will basically go over more specific details of the differences between continuity and differentiability. However, I want to end up with one more example and that is sin square x. Let us say f x is sin square x uh, and let us sketch a graph of sin square x. So, we know that sin square x will be something like this, right. So, it, it is obviously a very smooth function. So, this is differentiable for all x. And because of that, I just want to point out as something that you can always remember as sort of a thumb rule that polynomials polynomials sines and cosines are always differentiable. So, I hope this helps you understand uh, the graphical interpretation of differentiability. So, whenever you, the function is smooth, it is differentiable and whenever there are corners or breaks, the function is not differentiable. Uh, and also, we also briefly touched upon the fact that there is a relation between continuity and differentiability and that is the part for the next video. Thank you.